All right, first observation. Where I want to fish at. Since I've been here two or three times, this place is becoming more and more familiar. So, I know down here, I didn't, I have no luck down here. So today's gonna be, I'm taking it as a, a technical day. Casting, um, plastics. Yeah, we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna throw plastic, plastics. Yeah, paddle tail plastics. Got some, uh, got some worms, and also we have soft bait. We'll try that too. Now it's gonna be snaggy right here, though, real snaggy. And where I, well, I don't want to lose no gear. You know, I don't like losing gear. It costs money. <laughs> so. I figure we can start with some structures that we can start we can start right over here so we can walk we can actually we can do a quick survey if you want to all right so you want to I see some something bubbling up oh bait fish all right right on all right well let's get let's get uh let's get it going and this is our what recreation so what the fish is the bonus so what let's have some fun man <laughs> let's have some fun all right my first cast for the day start off with paddle tail let's see if I get my weight so I don't want no backlashes I think that should hold. Uh, I'd rather have it a little tight than too loose. All right, then I'll, if it gets too loose, it might lost a bit of distance. Working no, no backlashes. Huh? Not expecting any bites today. Just a technical day, learning how to work my gear. Nice. Like the way that swims. We're gonna get a little bit more distance. I do know that there is a drop-off ledge in front of me. There. fish there would be by those pylons. I'm just waiting to get my very first hook set. I 
this is going to become very valuable on the surf when I start throwing crankbaits. better. Now my focus is getting ready to start kicking in. Once I get a further cast and I know my, fo my focus is going to on, then I can work on my concentration and fill in the bottom, let the sink, hold it up. I do know it is an attractive lure. I have had some action on on a, a potential strike on it before in this method. Not in these waters, but in a different style of waters, a little faster. Similar uh, bottom structure and a little bit more grassy or um, vegetation but I do know that there is a drop-off in front of those pylons and I have been able to reach that drop-off a little bit longer pole and a lighter faster tip will allow me to get the distance that I need this is good enough for right now I don't want to lose that little. Recreational fishing, learning how to fish and knowing the names of what I'm fishing with. So far so good. Soft plastic paddle tails. Something. That's the concentration right there. Going in the bottom. I want to snag. I lost my other uh, curly tail plastic worm the last time I was here. All right. I'd like to get it a little bit further between those two pylons. Got my rod tip up. Drop, let it sink to the bottom for a slack line and pull real in slow. Let it sink to the bottom, slack line, real in slow. Let it sink to the bottom, real in slow. Let it sink to the bottom, real in slow. I like the way that swims, that looks really nice. All right. I'm going to throw this a few more times, then I'm going to go throw some worms. Soft bait. Uh, actually, not yeah, soft bait. Got a, a way to keep it on the hook. I'm going to use that. Uh, I'm going to test that out today, too. It's about 9 o'clock. Going into low tide. going to be a good technical day. Well, as you would know, I did what exactly what I said I didn't want to do. You gotta know when to fish with, when not to fish with. But, and I snagged it. Oh, I don't want to lose that. And I'm going to lose it. Oh, I don't want to lose it. Oh, man. I was having so much fun with that paddle tail. Oh, wee. That's a, I got another one, but, oh man, that's concrete too. I know there's some concrete slabs. Yeah, it, it's hooked on there good. That's a sharp hook on there. Well, what do I do? Don't be personal with it. Just give it up to the river. Shucks. That's the only thing I can suggest doing. 
got about three more of these. Oh, I don't want to let this go. I'm not going to just give it up that easily. I'm going to try different angles. Maybe I might be able to coax that hook off. Well, I mean, it'll be more of a technical day. What do I do? When do I do it? And just on the fly quick and fast. Don't have any personal feelings about it. Just attempt to give a few moments for trying to retrieve it back. If it doesn't work, then just have to give it up. Oh man. Oh, man. It's less time fishing when I look at it. Especially when I knew it was going to happen. Well, go ahead and just snap the line. I think I should go ahead and just... I do mine. No, no, your line. I'm not on your line. Oh, yeah, you got fish, man. You got fish. You got fish. <laughs> That's just a mean fishing. You got fish. <laughs> I was in your line. I was on your line. But, um... What I'm asking you is I just go ahead and snap my line. Man, I don't want to though. I like that, I like that paddle tail. You know what I mean? That holding personal feelings against it, huh? Oh, and that hook is that hook is on there. Well, alright. Did I get it back? Did I get it back? Oh, please, did I get it back? Wait a minute. <laughs> okay, I learned my lesson. <laughs> oh, we, I learned my lesson. Okay, all right. I'll be more cautious with it. All right. Man, thank you. I like this paddle tail. I'm, I'm getting more confident with it. And see, it's, see it's weighted? Hmm? Heck yeah, see how see it's weighted. It's nicely weighted. It's beautiful when it swims. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go fish where there's no rocks. Alright. Since I've been fortunate to get my lure back, I'm gonna be more more careful and spot out areas that I feel that I have the best potential of retrieving my, my lure back. Recreational. And I don't have the professional money to, to be buying this stuff. So I'm gonna fish it as effectively as possible and come out with a bonus. That's my goal. I think I have a better chance of getting my the first thing I'm gonna be thinking of for now on. I'm, I think I got a better chance of getting of retrieving of getting my lure back. I'm about to increase my retrieval speed at, at some point. That's what I've just learned. And keep it off the bottom when I think there's potential of a of a snag. That's the chance, I, I mean, but that's the way you pull to fish these from the, at the bottom. Right, let's see. Not want to lose that, so I'm going to be more attentive to, to filling the bottom. Rod tip up, there we go. All right. I sure didn't have another one to tie on. That would have been the lesson to have been learned. That would have been less time in the water. And I love keeping my line wet in the water. Just never know. You might hit a fish, you might not hit a fish, but the experience is priceless. 
And if you haven't had a chance to subscribe, please subscribe, like, and share. Oh, again. Oh, my goodness. That ledge is right there in front. I have my Polaroid glasses, but that's no excuse. All right, let's see if I get blessed again. So it's called fishing, huh? No crying about it. Tough it up. Doggone it. Well, if I lose it this time, oh, man, I don't want to lose it. Shit. <laughs> Gotta keep you cool. All right, this ledge, this right here in front is where I should have been coming to fish. But it's such a long, fast bank, you just don't know when to stop and cash your lure. And that's the guessing game of it. Oh man. Now that's definitely gonna snap off. Well, do the same process. Just change the angle, get a little more line out there. Might get might get lucky. No such thing as luck. Better chance than luck. Or however you want to call it. The better way of calling it is just don't get snagged up again. Oh, I can feel the limitation of the of the braid that I'm using. So I'm still learning something. Alright. I think I'm gonna get this snag. I, I'm either gonna get it or I'm not gonna get it off. If I don't get it. I'm just gonna go to. Um, I'm just gonna cast for bottom fish. That's all there is to it. Well, I guess you know what that means. Did not come back with my paddle tail minnow. That's all right. Fast forward to another gear, another different style. Go to the old faithful being surgeon loop, low heavy current, three ounce lead pyramid. Are you packing up? Oh no, I'm gonna put this rig together. You convinced me. We don't know if we're gonna catch a fish. Don't give up. I was, you do that? I was, I was getting discouraged. You was like, don't give up. You don't know. We might catch. So I was like, shucks. Yeah, you did. So I'm, I'm gonna stick it out. Don't, don't get discouraged. The fish is the bonus. So I'm gonna put this rig together real quick. We're not speed fishing, we're relaxation fishing right now. It's like I gotta switch to another gear. I'm coming from the surf and, and and kayak trolling. I think I'm gonna use just one. I'm gonna use one. Save some gear. But I definitely feel the urge to get in the water. This is that advantage trolling, covering as much water as possible. Check my tip and see if it's up. 
and that is why you always keep your tip clear of any files or you I would have thrown this out and I would have lost the lead I would have been really discouraged it's not over yet I'm not saying it's gonna happen but I know this is a rocky bank it's not producing <laughs> my philosophy is when you know an area is not producing leave and go somewhere else but I don't know what it's gonna do for this type of fishing bottom fishing huh this is let's give the bottom fishing a, a chance to see if it's gonna produce anything let you know when I catch when I catch So, like a cheesecloth net, and I'm going to stuff it down into and tie it off into a, a bait ball. Uh, surgeon, let's see here, this is the type of dressing that I'm using. Plastic net. So what I'll do, take a piece. It's a little bit messy, but that's why you wear gloves. Drop it down in there. What I like about it is I let it just soak for a couple of days. That way I know I get a lot of scent penetrating in the meat. do is I'll just stuff it down in there like this tie the other end with dental floss wax dental floss this wax dental floss you can grip it better I'll just force it down there this tool or with my fingers. Just get a nice little nice little bait ball. here wax is much better set that right there pull me off a little bit a good amount of string I can tie it again cut it off in 
there like that. right over that cap. I want it too close so I can cut in between the knots of strings. Just like that. specifically for soft baits like fillets that you have soaking in other scents or liver just cut in between the two knots bait ball and then you have another one ready to be made you just open your cap pull that down twist your cap back on there tighten it down pull your net Medical net up. It's ready to go for another soft bait application. I figure um, pretty good size hook. Maybe a, a two or a one. Larger size hot hook would fit that perfect. Let's put that in there until I'm ready to use it. So I'll make my soft bait application. Let's see what wants it. 
hopefully it should, yeah, it'll do, it'll do good. Gotta be in the right water, right applications, but this is what I'm gonna be using. All right, let me get back to this uh, throwing worms and I've already threw one out. It's been soaking for about less than uh, 10 minutes. So I'll let you know what I catch when I catch. And then if you don't catch anything, you just take it out of the net and put it back into your um, into your uh, storage container and put it in the freezer and they can marinate and you can have these for bait for two or three, four, two, three, four, five months. So use it at your own discretion. But you, you're definitely not losing and wasting your, your bait. End of the day, like I said, today was a very technical day. So we didn't come out with any fish, but we came out with a lot more information. And I got a chance to throw my try my bait ball application out here. Happy with that. So guess what? We'll be back. I think I'm gonna use this as a training area until the summertime. Then we may catch some pretty good sized bass. But, yeah. Yeah, we need to check that out too. But you never can never can go wrong when you come out with the right attitude. It's all about relaxation, and that is what we caught. That is what we caught. I learned a lot today.